as a special founder. He found us obsessed with technology and smart home, but has he drive to bring both of these to the insurance industry. Meet Domods, building bridges between the insurance industry and the connected home. So what's, what's unique for me about Domods is the ability to shift from what is an annual grudge purchase, uh, either personal, commercial, or it's absolutely a grudge purchase, to something that's uh, that, that where I can see there's value in what I'm doing because I'm empowered as the end consumer to manage my risk uh, in partnership with the insurer. So what, what I like about Dermot's team is that they, um, they're quite an established team, they've been going for some time, but they also have a lot of experience outside of insurance. And I think that's really uh, intriguing because they bring a very fresh perspective uh, to an industry that often thinks there is only one way of doing things. If we were to look back in 10 years' time and at, at Dermot's success, I think what we what we will see is that Dermot's is one of the first startups um, in, in the insurance tech sector that helped insurers fundamentally reboot the customer engagement. actually chose that song. <laughs> Insurance and innovation, two words that do not belong to the same sentence. Actually, somebody from this crowd told me so a couple of months ago, but I disagree. And I'm going to show you today how insurance and innovation perfectly complement each other in the space, especially, of the connected home. But let's take one step back and talk about insurance. I believe the single element behind any insurance proposition is fear. It's the fear of a leaked pipe or of a short circuit causing a fire that drives a homeowner to purchase insurance. It is a fear that is shared by the underwriter who is scared of losing 2,000 times the premium because of poor underwriting uh, calculations. And as a matter of fact, fear is the number one connection between insurance companies and their customers, which is not a really nice starting point for the entire industry. Technology today promises to shed a new light on this fear. The theory is pretty simple. We have these things called connected devices that generate data. And data is at the source of how anybody assesses risk. And the numbers on the data out there available is mind-boggling. In 2008, there were already more connected devices to the internet than people on this planet. By 2020, we're expecting 26 billion devices to be connected. And 25% of this relate to, the, relate to the connected home. I not very well these trends because I'm leading the trend myself. I have over 200 devices in my own home. And when I first connected them, I used to get 400 emails every day about events happening inside my home. But guess what? Too much information is as good as no information. It's basically noise. What I believe we need is a home that can talk a simple and visual language. A home that can do the math, that can put things in context. An open window and a weather forecast of rain, two independent events from two different sources that when put together are actually telling something very important. Go back home and close that window. Water running inside the home and no presence de detected for over four hours. Again, independent events that are, should be telling us that something is very wrong and we need to do something about that. What we need is insights and not noise, and that's the premise why I originally started my company. My name is Domenico Grabanzano. I'm the CEO of Domots, and I'm very, very passionate about technology. I am so passionate that I had this great idea a couple of years ago to quit my decently lucrative job to start a company to improve people's digital life uh, in their home. And after 15 months of work, we came up with this. 
Domots is a little probe that sits inside the home and connects to any device, electronic, that it can find. It listens to the data the devices generate and sends that data to the cloud for enrichment and turns into intelligence. Domots essentially brings the home alive by connecting the dots. And it's not just an idea or a prototype, it's actually a real product in the market. We are selling this today to home automation installers and technical help desks for them to deliver tech support to their clients. We are present today with Domots in over 1,000 homes in the hands of over 400 professionals delivering tech support. Most importantly, two weeks ago, just in time for the startup bootcamp, we landed our first big client, Best Buy, the largest retail, consumer electronics retailer in the world with over 45 billion in sales, has selected Domots to deliver remote support and assistance to the premium customers. Now, with Best Buy, we're going to enter the homes of tens of thousands of American families. And because we own the data that we source, we can actually provide unique insights to U.S. insurers on the U.S. consumer. But Domot is not just pro-professional. Meet Thing. Thing is the most popular and downloaded network scanner in the market. It's an application that lets you discover what connected devices are around you. When we acquired this company, and the people who came to work for us that work in there a few weeks ago. Um, it already came with five stars rating on the Google and the Apple Store and over 10 million downloads. Think users perform 650,000 searches a day, discovering over 4 million devices around the world every single day, which amounts to over a billion, actually, it's almost a billion and a half of devices every year, and that's a billion with a B, and that's my version of big data. And we think that can be a very interesting source of uh, new business for insurance company, for new insurance business, and also warranty extensions. But let's get to our insurance product. One out of two people, according to research, are wondering what is going on at home when they're not there. And now with Domo's technology, an insurance company can leverage on that curiosity and radically improve both the quality and the frequency of their customer engagement. Our proposition for the insurance industry is a mobile app, insurance branded, that leverages all the data that we can gather from inside and outside of the home to reduce those fears, to reduce uncertainty, and promote awareness. It's an app that my colleague Patrizia, I'm not sure where she is, it told her that her freezer in the basement had stopped working. And not only it saved her quite a significant amount of uh, potential cost because of water damage, but it, more importantly, it saved her 42 kilos of pasta that was sitting in the freezer, which is a lot of pasta even for my own standards. Customer engagement is just the beginning of what Domots can offer to insurance company. It continues because via data analysis, insurers can, can profile their customers, can match claim history over time with those customers, and can eventually improve their underwriting and pricing capabilities. That translates to money. And talking about the money, this is how we at Domots make it. We charge a small subscription fee on a monthly basis for the data. We charge people like Best Buy $2.99 per month per customer. We then charge a fixed fee for the infrastructure, the hardware that we sell, a fee which is going to zero as we start installing our software also on things such as routers and Apple TVs already present in the home. These may seem like small numbers, but they add up. We only need 25,000 homes to break even. And put this in the context of 100 million smart homes already out there growing at almost 40% a year and over a billion plus homes with a broadband line, which we think we can cater to as we improve our consumer offering. We have covered a lot of ground in 15 months of doing this. Uh, there's 25 people working in the company right now. We have a product that is working in the market. We have a customer base of 10 million interested people, thanks to our recent Fink acquisition to exploit. We have Best Buy backing, and we have over a billion devices that we can do some interesting data mining on pretty quickly. We have done this so far, spending a lot of money, because we've already done almost 2 million pounds on this uh, enterprise. But we managed to be doing this with our own resources and, and funding, either from us or from friends and family. And we think we can break even within one year. And today, we're actually not looking for investments. What we're looking for, though, is insurers to come and join us in this journey. Because I personally believe that innovation in insurance 
is not offering a 5% discount on a policy because of a Nest thermostat. I believe innovation and insurance is using technology to radically improve customer engagement and reduce your risk. So please come and talk to us afterwards and see how we can help you be disruptive. Thank you.